Hi, I'm Garrett from Corona Cigar Company, and today we're talking cigar cutters. If you've been around a cigar lounge or watched any cigar videos online, you've probably seen someone using something like this to cut the end of their cigar. Next to picking out your favorite cigar, cutting it is probably the most important thing. A poorly executed cut can completely ruin your smoking experience. It might cause the cigar wrapper to start unraveling, you'll get bits of tobacco in your mouth, or it can cause draw issues where it's burning too hot or not allowing enough smoke to pass through. Now when it comes to cutting a cigar, there's a million different ways you can do it. You've got options like a straight cutter, a V cutter, a punch cutter, cigar scissors, or you can even use a trusty pocket knife. Now I've seen people cut their cigars plenty of different ways. I've seen guys poke the end of that cap with a matchstick. You can use a sharp razor blade. You can even bite it off with your teeth or pry the cap up with your fingernails. So if we look at this cigar, you'll see that it has four lines. That means that it has four caps. When it comes to cutting, you wanna make sure that you stay above those lines and right around the shoulder or just above the shoulder. If you cut it too far below the shoulder, you're gonna have way too open of a draw. If you cut it too far up, then you'll have too tight of a draw. And if you go too far past the shoulder and down past those lines, your cigar is gonna start unraveling. Let's talk about how you would use a straight cutter. You've got plenty of different options. We've got ones like our plastic straight cutters. They come in a variety of different sizes. They're super versatile. You can always have one of these around. They're pretty cheap, usually under like 10 bucks. You can throw it in your pocket, throw it in a bag, doesn't matter. Going further, we've got a little bit higher end, fully metal cutters. As you notice, they're fully open. We've got no backing on there, but I do want to indicate what a back would look like on a straight cutter. It allows you to place the cigar right up to the back and do your cut. We've got a few different options as far as the straight cutters go with the double guillotine. We've got options like this, which have a geared mechanism. They'll allow you to get a nice, even, uniform cut while depressing both of the blades at the same time. And then we've got these teardrop shaped ones, which have different mechanisms on each side and you can just go ahead and snip your cigar like that. When it comes to executing a straight cut, there's a couple of things you wanna do and take into consideration. So you're gonna open up your straight cutter. You're gonna line that cigar up right on the cap where you want it. And you're going to depress the sides using a nice swift motion so you get a good even cut. So that will be your standard open back straight cutter. We can go ahead and use one of our backed cutters here. Now, like I said, that backed portion allows you to put the cigar all the way back in there, and that should allow just enough room to cut off the cap where you want it to. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Nice swift motion. We've got the top cut off there. If you feel like you need a little more, again, you've got some room to work with. You can put it back in there and just get a little bit more. And then you've got that cut exactly where you want it. Now when it comes to torpedo shaped cigars, these get a little bit interesting. Now you can go straight horizontally across that curved portion there, or you can take your straight cutter and cut it at an angle. Now we'll go ahead and give that a slight angle there. Usually that helps to open up the draw a little bit more. We've got a nice 30 degree angle there. And again, depress the sides, nice swift motion, and we've got a nice open cut there. What's good about torpedoes is you can go a little light and then go further down if you feel like you need to open up the draw. You just take a few puffs on and test it, and then you can go from there. So when it comes to V cutters, we've got a few different options. We've got some smaller plastic ones here, such as these. They're gonna give you a shallow V cut. And again, great on price point. There's something that's usually under $10. They're easy to have around. You can throw that in your pocket or wherever you want, bring it anywhere with you. Then we've got a few larger options here. We've got our deep V cutters. Zycar makes one that's got the open back there. And then Calibri actually has this one which features a straight cutter and the deep V cutter. Now this one has a deeper well, so you'll get a nice deep, deep V when you use this. And once you cut it, your trimmings stay inside of there until you're ready to dump them off into your ash. 
you're probably asking yourself, when is the right time to use a V-cutter? Now, I tend to prefer using a V-cutter on something that's got a little bit of a box press or a torpedo-shaped cigar. You can certainly use these on a Parejo-shaped cigar as well. And the good thing about V-cutters is that because they have that well, it gives you a place to index your cigar, and you can never really cut it too far down because you've got that backing there to help you. And then you'll just cut out that V-shaped portion. So let's go ahead and use this on the box press cigar. So much like with your straight cutter, you're gonna to want to extend the blade. You can go ahead and place this in whichever orientation you feel works the best. You know, you can go this way where it's split just along that section there, or you can go kind of more horizontally, I guess you would say, along the cap. So you're gonna place that into the deep V cutter, squeeze down in a swift motion, and then you've got kind of a wedge cut out in the top of that cigar. So I like that because it maintains on a box press cigar some of that shoulder and doesn't allow it to start coming undone while funneling in the draw. Now on a torpedo, similar to that box press, I like it for the reasons of cutting out a wedge, allowing the draw to open up while funneling the smoke. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this one. Again, same thing, we pop that open, you know, put that straight through. You know, you might have that poking out the back a little bit there, so you want something with a good enough back portion. And then swiftly depress that, and we've got a nice V cut on there as well. And again, if you feel like you need a little more, you can pop it in there and open that up further, but that should work just fine. On a standard Parejo shaped cigar, you know, you can go with a deep V or any any type of V cutter that you like. Same thing, pop that open. We're gonna put it up against the back. So when you depress that, you get a nice small wedge, as you'll notice with this shallower version. And that gives you a nice funneled draw. So punch cutters are great because they're often something as small as you can put on a keychain, and they're super convenient to use. And oftentimes, they come alongside lighters. You've got one on the bottom of this lighter that screws out. And you can go ahead and just punch your cigar with there, that way you don't have to carry too many tools with you. As well as on this lighter, we have one that flips out as well. So you can go ahead and use that on your cigar and have the lighter right there in one convenient spot. Commonly, you'll see these little keychain style ones. You can pick these up usually by the counter at any cigar store. Again, super cheap, super easy to throw anywhere. You can leave it in your car, leave it wherever. We've got a few different styles of that. This one opens up with that kind of motion. And then when you go ahead and press it back down, it'll pop the little piece that you cut off. And that way that's expelled from the cutter itself. This one is pretty unique in that you'll press the cigar into it, give it a little twist. And then we've got tools like this, which actually have a multitude of different functions and feature different size punches. So that's gonna be a little bit of a large bore. And then you've got a more standard size bore there. And again, once you twist that, the little piece that you just cut will fly right off. What's really cool about using a punch cutter is that it usually provides the least amount of damage to the cap of the cigar. And it allows you something that you can do a small cut and even work your way up to a straight cut if you needed a little more draw. And use this little avo deal here and press and rotate as well. And you hear that kind of crack there. And boom, there we go. Out pops the little nub there, and we've got a nice, clean punch cut. What's interesting about certain types of cigars, you'll probably notice this one has a pretty flat, almost like plateau there at the top there. So we can go ahead and take a relatively small punch cutter on that. And what some people like to do is go off to one side, go ahead and punch out a little bit there, and then you can go ahead and punch out a little bit on the other side. As you'll notice, I left a little bit on there, but what's cool, again, you can kind of go back in and just pop that out and clean it up. And now you've got a little double punch on the end of that cigar. The punch cutters are pretty versatile and they're pretty forgiving. Whether you're a new cigar smoker or pretty experienced, it provides a really good way to get a even consistent cut every single time. A more traditional way of cutting cigars is using something like this Zycar scissor tool. As you notice, it just folds it up and it works great to kind of slap on your keys 
and it functions as a multi-tool. It's got plenty of different little tools for your lighter, you know, bleed tool on there, and something to adjust your flame level. These come in pretty handy for a variety of different reasons, but again, that traditional scissor cut is definitely something that's maybe a little more old school. So to use that, there's a couple of different things you can do. One way would be to kind of, again, line it up similarly to how you would be doing a straight cut. And what you're gonna wanna do is get it on there and rotate the cigar and the scissors kind of around while you're pressing the scissors together. So you'll kind of do one of these and just take off a little bit of the top there. And what's cool, the scissors, so you can go ahead and clean that up if you feel like you need to. And we've got essentially a straight cut on there. Another way would be to put it at a slight angle and you kind of start off to one side and you're gonna to wanna to just take off little bits at a time until you open up that cap. It's maybe not as smooth as doing the kind of straight across way, but again, you can go ahead and clean it up a little bit more and we've got another version of the scissor cut there. So this one's pretty versatile in what you can do with it. The final way that we're gonna talk about is going to be using either a pocket knife or a cigar knife. So a cigar knife will be something that kind of opens up just as a traditional pocket knife would be. It'll have a divot similar to this, but not quite exactly the same way. You might have seen these from brands like Fien Lam, and Zycar has a version that has a little opening that you kind of put your cigar into. And that you will essentially place your cigar in that opening, line it up with the blade, and then press it down. And that will cut it off. I'm not going to go ahead and do it with this knife because this is a utility knife I carry around and it's not sharp enough at all. So now that you know all the different ways you can cut a cigar, you can go ahead and cut with confidence. One of my favorite things about cigar cutters and accessories in general is that there's so many different options. We've got over 20 of them right here on the table. And that's not even a drop in the bucket for the options that you can have. You can go ahead and choose any type of cutter that suits your personality or personal preferences any way you like, whether that's high end, low end, plastic, metal, or just the style of cut that you want to do on your cigar. And feel free to try out all of these different ways and see what fits you best. Drop a comment down below with your favorite way to cut a cigar, or let us know maybe one of these methods that you've never tried before. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of our newest videos. I'm Garrick, and I'll see you guys in the next video.